During this demonstration, I'm going to be working with two programs, Adobe Captivate version 7, Adobe FrameMaker version 12. I'm going to publish this Captivate lesson as a flash file of Swift. I'll bounce over to Adobe FrameMaker and show you how to import that flash file into a FrameMaker document. I'll PDF the FrameMaker document, take a look at it, and show you that the multimedia content in that PDF will still play. And then I'll show you how you can leverage the FrameMaker to captivate communication, the linking features, to launch a Captivate session from within FrameMaker, make edits to the Captivate project, republish them very quickly, and make changes to your final PDF output. So let's check it out. First to publish. I'll visit the file menu and I'll choose publish. The project title is fine. I'll leave that as it is. You could name it anything you want. I'm going to click the browse button and navigate to my computer where I want to save the output. I'm going to confirm that publish to folder is selected. In this instance, Captivate will make a folder called useCharmApp underscore RH. I'm going to make sure Swift is selected as my output format. That's going to result in a flash file. And when selecting the Flash Player version, I'll elect to use Flash Player 10, which is the oldest version available in Captivate 7 and is the safest version to use just in case your users haven't updated to the latest and greatest Flash Player. And I'll click Publish. I'll be asked if I want to view the output. That's not necessary, so I'll click No. And I'm going to exit out of Captivate and Save. And then I'll take you over to FrameMaker and show you how this Captivate Flash file can be added to FrameMaker. So here we go, File Exit, and I'll Save. So here I am in Adobe FrameMaker version 12. I do have the Adobe Technical Communication Suite, so while you could import Captivate Swifts into standalone versions of FrameMaker, the FrameMaker to Captivate workflow was really set up to work with the Technical Communication Suite, and I have the Technical Communication Suite version 5. I've established the insertion point in this paragraph that says, here's an example of a simulation created in FrameMaker. You see my blinking insertion points right here. I'm going to bring in the Captivate file by choosing File, Import, File, I'll navigate to my hard drive where I saved that Captivate project. So I'm going to go up one level here, up another level, open up my Captivate folder, and there's the uh, Captivate Published Projects folder that I opened, and there is my Use Charmap folder. I'll open that, and there is the Swift that I just published. I'll double click it. Next thing I have to concern myself with is the imported graphic scaling. Generally speaking, the higher you make these numbers, the smaller the resulting asset will be. In this case, the Captivate video. I'm going to choose 150 DPI and click Set. And the Captivate video shows up in my FrameMaker document. Now, there's a couple of problems. First of all, it's cropped, so I'm going to turn the cropping off. And I want to make sure that the video appears below the text Adobe Captivate. So I'm going to right-click the Captivate video. I'm going to choose Anchored Frame. On the Anchored Frame pod over on the right side of the screen here, I'm going to change the anchoring position to below current line. The alignment I'm going to change to right. And I'll remove the check mark from Cropped and click Edit Frame. Perfect. Now I can see the Captivate video is in my FrameMaker document. I'm going to save my FrameMaker file. And I'm going to make a PDF out of this just to see if, in fact, this will contain the interactive Captivate video that I created. So File, Save as PDF. Now, after the PDF is created, I'm going to open it, and I'm going to go to page 18 of the PDF. That's where this video is going to be located. I'm being asked where I want to save the PDF. The TechCom book folder is the folder I was working in, so that's fine. And the name of the PDF is going to be eLearning PDF. That's fine. I'll click Save. I'm presented with the PDF Setup dialog box. I'm going to select View the Generated PDF in Acrobat and click Set. 
and then I'm going to get out of the way and see what happens here. Hopefully no computer crash. We'll get the PDF to open and we'll check it out. I'm going to collapse the bookmarks panel. I don't need that right now. And I'm going to change my view to 100%. And I'm going to get myself over to page 18 so I can see that Captivate video. And there's the video. I'm going to go ahead and click this little play icon. Let me scroll down a little bit. And there's the video. If this is going to allow me to click, I'd get excited because that means not only is it a video, it's an interactive video from within my PDF. So I click to start, and in fact, this video is totally interactive, which is awesome. Now, there's a couple of things that I'm concerned with, potentially, about the video. Maybe I don't like the appearance of the play bar down here. I want to change that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. That's going to require me to basically work in Captivate again and republish the lesson and make a new PDF. Let's see how difficult or maybe easy that is. I'm going to close the PDF. I'm back inside my FrameMaker document. I'll get rid of the distiller box here as well. Again, here's my Captivate lesson that I imported into FrameMaker. Because I have the Adobe Technical Communication Suite, if I right-click that Captivate video, I'll have the option to edit with Adobe Captivate, which I'll click, which takes me back into Adobe Captivate and opens up that Use Charm App project. To change the play bar, I'll visit the project menu. I'll choose Skin Editor. I'll select a different skin from the Skin drop-down menu. Maybe Space Blue. I'll remove the check mark from closed captioning and audio. And I'll remove the close button on the play bar. I'll close the skin editor. Save and exit out of Captivate. The FrameMaker document reappears. All I have to do now is re-PDF and take a look and see if the play bar has been changed. So here I go. I'm going to go to the File menu, and I'm going to choose Save as PDF. And I'll replace the existing PDF, and click Set. And in a moment or so, I should see my PDF, and I'll go to that page 18 and see if, in fact, the PDF has been updated to show my new Captivate lesson. Let's see. Okay, so here's my PDF again. I'm going to collapse the bookmarks panel. I'll change my view to 100%. I'll go to page 18 of the PDF. There's my Captivate video. I'm going to click it, and let's see if that play bar has updated. I'll scroll down a little bit so you all can see. There's the new play bar. 